Today is Tuesday, April 27th, and this is Tommy Media's News in 90. I'm Justin Amaker. Nine positive COVID-19 tests are reported at the St. Thomas' Center for Wellbeing last week, a decrease of four from the previous week and the first time since early March that total cases were in the single digits. All cases involve students with one at the Minneapolis campus. A number of St. Thomas community members received a Pfizer COVID-19 shot at McCarthy Gym over the weekend, the first of two vaccination rounds hosted by the university. Just under 2,000 individuals received vaccines on Friday and Saturday, according to the COVID-19 dashboard. McAllister College is the first Minnesota college to require students and employees on campus to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 by August 2nd, according to a statement from McAllister President Susanna Rivera. St. Thomas has not yet officially said whether it will require vaccines, but Center for Wellbeing Director Madonna McDermott says it is something that the university is considering. St. Thomas softball coach John Cheeto will resign at the end of the 2021 season to become coach at his alma mater, St. Mary's University in Winona, according to announcements from both schools Monday. Cheeto told St. Mary's News Service that St. Thomas's move to Division I athletics was one of a number of reasons why he resigned. He has led the Tommies for 21 seasons and accumulated 792 wins, the most victories for any coach in program history. This will be Cheetah's second run as St. Mary's head coach, a position he held from 1994 to 2000 before coming to St. Thomas. Between St. Mary's and St. Thomas, he is one game short of 1,000 wins, the most wins of any NCAA Division III softball coach. Check TommyMedia.com for these full stories. For TommyMedia.com, I'm Justin Amaker.